Hello Winthrop and YouTube and good afternoon. Welcome to this energizing, balancing, focusing reboot. Today we are going to discuss some of my favorite topics, but first things first, how are you feeling? You might be feeling a little bit exhausted or frenzied or stuck in one place. It doesn't matter. This is going to help us clear ourselves out, balancing ourselves out, and re-enter our day with the same energy and focus we started it with. The same center in our hearts, centers in our mind, clarity, and just feeling good. How are we going to do that? Well, we're going to start with our affirmations. Today, I offer you the affirmation with one of my favorite, favorite, favorite core values, Astea, which is honesty in action. Being honest in our actions, doing the right thing even when no one's looking may be really good and really easy in the beginning of our day when we have a lot of energy and we're just starting our activities. When we get midway through the day, everything's piling up and we don't think we can finish, we might start to cut corners. Even though we don't know, well we do know that that's not the most nourishing thing all the time. The affirmation I Love to help remind me to do the right thing is that I am not truth. I do not create the truth. I merely live in it. Let's repeat. I do not create the truth. I merely live in it. And one more time. I do not create the truth. I merely live in it. Beautiful. That's it. What's most nourishing for us is what's most nourishing for us. What's healthy for us is what's healthy for us. We can pretend another way is another way, but that's living in our pretend land because we don't create the truth. So let's think about that when our mind starts to feel maybe a little bit entitled, a little bit like it's better than the day. It's not. We're perfect just how we are. And we have all that we need right now. And maybe that's saying, I can't complete all this today. Or maybe that's saying, I can't spend so much time in every room right now because I have a lot of things going and I'm going to honor that. I'm going to be honest about that and I'm going to keep on keeping on. Okay? Now an awesome breathing technique that helps us balance ourselves out when we're feeling too attached to the world and maybe too sentimental or too detached from the world and maybe a little bit too judgmental is alternate nostril breathing. To do this, we are going to take our palm right palm, we're going to ground our pointer finger or our middle finger, we can put it on our palm or we can put it on the center of our head. We're going to cover our right nostril with our thumb and we'll be covering our left nostril with our ring finger, alternating between the two. We're going to start off inhaling through our left, covering it, exhaling through the right, inhaling through the right, Covering and exhaling through the left. We'll do this for three more breaths on each side. We're going to let our belly still get nice and big on our inhales, filling up with air. We're going to exhale, completely engaging our abdomen into our back. Inhaling deeply. And exhaling completely. Just one more round on each side. Closing our eyes, focusing on our breath. Listening and hearing only sounds and sensations in our immediate vicinity. Allowing all else to just fade away. Grounding our palm on our knee and getting ready to get moving a little bit, find a little bit more energy. We're gonna do that, still flex our spine in six directions, but this practice is gonna be a little bit harder, okay? We are going to come onto our hands and our knees, and then some of us might be staying here. If we can, we're gonna go into a plank really engaging our shoulders away from our ears, belly into our back, squeezing our butt, squeezing our legs, holding a nice straight plank. 
We're gonna inhale our right arm up, our left leg back. It's gonna be a real balance check. Exhale back down. Right leg up, left arm up. Exhale back down. Switch side. It's tough, it's tough. Switching. One more time on each side. I'm definitely building some steam and finding some energy. I hope you are too. And then from here, we're going to inhale. We're going to roll over our toes, drop our hips. Allow our hips to be right underneath our shoulders, tucking our shoulders into our sides. Eyes up, up dog. Exhale, lift our hips up, roll over our toes into our downward facing dog, pushing through our hands, ears in line with our elbows, inhaling forward. Exhaling back. And just one more time. Beautiful. Coming back to our plank. The last thing we are going to do is do our side planks. This time we're not going to put our knee down if we don't have to. And inhale up. Exhale back down. Inhaling to the right side. Exhaling back down and to the left. And back down to the right. And back down. If we need to drop that knee, feeling free to. It's whatever is most nourishing for us right now. Come back up to the plank if you can. If not, that's fine. And then we're going to walk our feet forward. And we are going to do in a sequence that I love. It's called the Dancing Warrior. I'm going to push this back a little bit. Okay, so for this sequence, we're going to stand nice and tall, belly into our back, overextend our knees and gently bend them so that nothing's, we don't have to hold anything in place. Our body does it for us, put it in the right place, let our body keep it there. So we're going to come into our standing, we're going to inhale our arms up, reach back, exhale and fold forward. Now we're going to inhale and we are going to jump our feet back into our plank, dropping our hips up into our upward facing dog, eyes up. Exhaling, pushing through back into our down facing dog. We're going to inhale our right leg up. We're going to turn our hip. We're going to exhale. We're turning our hip to make room because we're going to exhale and pull our knee forward. Coming into a lunge, inhaling both arms up, nice and tall, hips forward, pushing through our front foot into our back heel. Exhale and drop that back arm, opening your hips to the left side. Warrior two, keep on dropping that back arm to reverse word. Hips still centered to the right, left, reaching the right arm up and overhead, dropping that right arm down to the inside of the right foot. Left arm up, overhead. We're going to inhale back into our warrior. Exhale, cartwheel our arms. Right foot meets the left. Inhale, dropping forward back into our up dog, eyes up. Exhale, lifting our hip, pushing through our hands. Downward facing dog. Inhale the left leg up this time. We're going to turn our hip, make some room. Inhale, pull that knee forward into our lunge. Nice high lunge. Inhaling the arms up, pushing through that front foot into the back heel. Warrior one. Exhale, dropping that back foot, turning it to 60 degrees. Warrior two. Inhale, keep dropping that back arm, reaching up and overhead, centering those hips. Reverse warrior, exhale, drop the palm down to our ankle, reaching our right open overhead, stretching into our right side, inhale to our warrior, exhale, we're going to cartwheel our arms, right foot meets our left, inhaling up, gently arching, exhale, palms to chest, an amazing work, yet again, I hope you feel a little bit more energized, a little bit more balanced, and a little bit more focused, I know I do. Namaste and thanks for joining us. I hope you come back.